Hello and welcome to Malika Cooks. Today we will make uh, okra and sweet peas too. We will need one third, uh, one third cup for me, oh, okra, about a cup of sweet peas, half an onion, some garlic, this is optional jalapeno and five uh, cherry tomatoes. In my marble mortar, I put the garlic with a half a teaspoon of allspice and one third of a teaspoon garlic powder and I will smash it. In a medium pot, I put two tablespoons olive oil, the mashed garlic with half a teaspoon of allspice, any allspice, my half onion cut and my jalapenos and it's um, optional the jalapenos. See, I cut the onions into small squares. Let it drizzle on the medium heat for a little bit and then I will add the okra. Now I will add my okra. So I added the okra to the pot. I will let it simmer a little bit and then I will remove it from the pot. Maybe I'll let it simmer for two minutes and I will stir a tiny bit. I am not mixing it with the onions because I want to remove it. So right here I added one tablespoon tomato paste and one teaspoon um, pepper paste. But uh, if you don't have a paste of uh, pepper, you can use harissa which is a good spice and I'm gonna add half a teaspoon half chili powder just to give it that reddish color so now that the tomato paste has simmered for about a minute I will add the bag of sweet peas I will use the whole bag I love sweet peas so the bag is um, 12 ounces Okay, and then I will add two cups of water. These are my two cups of water. Voila, I will add tea, two teaspoon uh, salt and you can do it to your liking. I will cover it, let it simmer. Remember that I removed the okra. I will add the okra uh, about 12 to 15 minutes before I turn off the heat because it cooks fast, especially that it's cut. So this is 22 minutes to be exact. I just added um, coriander leaves, half a tablespoon cut coriander leaves. Now I will add the okra that I removed. I added all the okra, I will let it simmer for on medium heat, always on medium heat, for another 10 to 12 minutes max. It cooks fast, guys. This is 12 minutes on medium heat after I added the okra. It's ready. Here's the bubbling. I will taste it for salt because this is the moment to decide whether it's good or not. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And this is the moment to add fresh parsley if you have some. It adds tons of flavor. Fresh parsley, about one tablespoon. Chopped fresh parsley. Or dry if you don't have the fresh one, but the fresh one is better. Okay. The okra and sweet pea stew or dip is ready. I have some bread and I will try it. I'm gonna take some and I want some okra. It's 
my okra, sweet pea. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mm. The flavor of coriander that I tossed in the end, the sweet peas, okra, mm, olive oil with the crunchy bread. Mm. Very yummy. I hope you try it and you enjoy it. Remember to share, like, subscribe please and try the dishes. Cook them with me and let me know how uh, did they turn out for you. Thank you for watching. Gracias. Shukran. Bye.